Should be able to roll this thing down a mountain and tip it back over and away we go again. New day in the shop. Still working on the rat rod tow truck. The tow truck Olympics is coming up. We don't know when it is yet, but it's coming closer. But today, order of business. We're finishing rock sliders. We're putting the 10 gauge all the way down, boat siding it. And then we're gonna finish the trans cradle. We're gonna put another one back here and get all the skid plates built on it. And then we're that much closer to working. All right, game plan is we're gonna start building this skid plate for the transfer case. Basically, I'm gonna take this chunk of angle, cut it in half, we'll drill and tap the frame in a couple spots on each side, put it on, and then we'll hook some DOM tubing between it and across it, and put some flat metal across it and build a skid plate. We'll get going. South air conditioning. Oh, majestic right there. Your beard's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> it's singeable. Yeah. I've burned it off before, so it's some big deal. Lighten the tire, so. It's not bad. Right here is a big old void. And if we just cover this with sheet metal, it's gonna get caved in and bent. So the plan is to put a piece of two inch square tube from this side to this side, we'll cut this up in to fit it, weld it all in tight, and then cover it with some 10 gauge. All right, we'll cut a few more of those and I'll show you where they go. We're winning this battle, getting these put in just so that the rocks will kind of not be able to bash up in the floorboards. We're getting there. It's in? Yeah, it's in. Nice. A couple more and we got them. Oh yeah. We got clearance. Hey look, it fits perfect on the tire machine. Yep. We'll start bending the rest of the transfer case mount now. And then we're about ready to skin it. We're, we're things getting, are happening, man. That's a good thing. Three, four, five, six. So I basically need that 30. Is, that is quite down. We're gonna go we 35 inches it. and we can cut it off. We can cut it. We may end up moving it up some, but. 30 degrees. 30 degrees is it. There's 30. Sorry. That's pretty close. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's your bet? I you gotta go more. We'll go see what that looks like. We're gonna bend them just a hair more. We'll go to 40. See what that looks like on both sides. Yep. We'll cut the angle off we want and set it up there. All right. It's close-ish. She's not plugged in. We gotta deal with all this crap that got stacked back in this corner. Find a plug. I found one. We'll see how close we are. I think shorter still. All right, little grinder action to get that angle better, and we got it. All right, we got this thing locked up. We're just welding it home now, and then we'll connect from here. We'll bend some up that come into it on the sides, and we should have a skid plate built. There's that now. Next. Like 15 inches of pipe. Two of those, maybe three of those. We probably just want to pull the cab mount out. No, I think we're just going to cut it around it and form it around it. Oh, okay. We'll just trim that off best we can and we'll yeah, form. Yeah, I'm kind of just making a. We'll form fit it to it after okay. that. I don't know how to weld that one in there. That one's going to be tricky. Oh, that one? Yeah, we'll build the three easy ones first. 
I think it's probably right dead in the middle of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that's how we're doing it. I think it's going to be all right. What do you think? More? I think we're going to leave it at 20 degrees. I don't think I'm going to bend that one. I'm going to leave that one straight. So I need one more. Ever seen one of these, Hunter? No, I just about asked what you were doing. Wow. Notching some tube. Now it fits right on there. And welds in. See that? Goes right in. Oh, wow. Let's see. Halfway. We gotta shorten this one just a little bit. What? I'm not looking at it. Only wear safety glasses when you're grinding. What are you doing right now? You guys, I know my parts. I know that's a belt grinder. Is it time for? Oh my God. Amazing. Look at that. That's almost like we build it to fit there, Hunter. And that's a transfer case holder. Yeah. See? I mean. Hey, are you guys impressed? I know that's the transfer case. I am pretty impressed with it. What's, What's this one in front of it called right here? The doubler. Son of a. <laughs> this, this whole thing's not even relevant anymore. Let's do it. Get keep, her a hard keep one. Keep going. Come on, get her a hard one. Mm, I know what that's called. Do you? Yeah, because it breaks sometimes in your derby cars. It has to do with a, a chicken. A yoke? Oh, look at that. Oh, see? Son of a gun. What's this right here called? That's your headers. I don't even Stop. think we need to do this anymore. I mean, <laughs> oh. uh, I this it. right here. That's fine. That Can you get this? Well, it's your <coughs> brake stopper. No. The calipers. Mm, wow. Are you kidding me? All right, how about this orange thing? What's it? Up. Have you been studying? That's what she does. Maybe. Um, that is. There's no way. If you get this, I'm handing you this jacket and I'm leaving. I should know what that is. You should, but you better not. Oh, that looks like the Target ball that's outside of Target. That's that the has... knuckles or something. Gosh oh. dang. I'm out of here. You all right, you I'm out of here. Well, did I really just get that? Better give her the jacket. Uh, better <laughs> Well. I don't want to wear just that. Just go out of here. Well. It's nasty. <laughs> that one right there. Yeah, you, there's no way in God's green you earth you're going to You just said I didn't that. know what knuckles were. Yeah, but this is hard. It's not even connected to the transfer case, is it? Yeah, it's That's connected it to the doubler. It's the doubler connector. It's not a doubler connector. I have no idea. That's good. Do you? On. Yeah, I know. That's what good. is it? I'm glad we stopped. That, that is the PTO. It's a power takeoff for the winch. Oh, I actually have a file named <laughs> Tow Truck PTO. All right. Well, you know everything now. Okay. Well, well, come again. Hi, graders. Graders just got home from school. Okay, I'm just saying, if you guys if want we need some help, I could probably do it. Hand me that green thing that's by your foot. You know what it is? A, a, a potato. Mateo. A Mateo. A hammer. <laughs> Mateo. Potato. 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 Hey, I really have to go edit a video. Looks like he's got a lot of exhaust pipes and wires. Well, it's about that time again for the potato. Give her the old potato. Whoever built this didn't do a very good job. Is it crooked? Like, not even close. It's getting cut by the top. Oh, it's like an yeah. inch, two inches. Like not even in the same ballpark. It's gonna do it. Oh, they'll cut that off a little. And we'll make a slug for it. Put it back together. A little mistake here. A delay. That's what we're calling it, is a delay. Five, we're good. Okay, we're going together. Oh, 
Oh, fun, fun. All right, we got some uh, steel here that we're gonna cut out, some flat steel. It's for the rock sliders we just put under. So we're gonna sheet the whole underneath side of it and we're gonna use all this steel. So we'll get these cut out and then welder, we'll weld them in. I'll do it. Okay. You get them chopped, we'll make them fit. Hey, it's straight line. Look at that. Just like so. We're gonna have to put a couple of accesses in in case we wanna ever hold the transmission. So we'll put some pipes in there, some little holes. I missed one slot I seen. Alright, we'll grind it all up, make it look pretty. Together. Something like that. You look pretty sexy. So, how are you going to mark those? Well, I'd have just cut some chunks of pipe. And that's my main wheel. Weld them on there. Weld them on the frame. And then just notch a hole through here to stick them through and then cut them off on Flush. the angle we want and weld them back in. Actually, yeah. we can't. Yeah, we can weld them in like that. We're making this up as we go. Making it up on the fly, but I think it's going to turn out pretty okay. I'm happy with it so far. It's gonna be stout. I mean, this this is never gonna bend. Should be able to roll this thing down a mountain and tip it back over and away we go again. All right, I'm gonna weld these in. Look at that, Hunter, we got it. That's Bill. Now we just gotta skin it. It's finished, finally. You just watched me weld those pipes on the end of the frame. This is supposedly gonna just slide right over there when I get it cut out. We'll see. What kind of odds you giving us? That's what I was just about to ask you. I, I think it's gonna work. I really do. I think I we're, don't know. I think we're gonna be dang close. Seventy percent. Seventy. Woo. Look at that. Hey, Hunter. The 100%. Oh yeah. Little bit of trimming and we got it. That's gonna be okay. And then we'll just take and cut these off on an angle. Weld them right in. They'll be perfectiono. Close like enough to 70%. it. 70%. That's, that's not, that's wow. Not he like, was doubting me. It's not horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, he was a, uh, he was hating on me pretty hard with that 70%. 70%? You just got out of school. What's 70%? What's your grade? Sweet. Hey, that's a new one. Yeah. It has no weld marks yet. It will when we're done. Okay, I'll just you can weld leave my people. life away. All right, we got this side all welded in. We still need to take the plasma cutter and lop these chunks of pipe off. We can't weld some of the rest of this in because we still need to get into tie roll cage in and stuff, but we got a pile done this week on this truck. All right, so when cool stuff shows up at your shop, you gotta go for a ride in it. Check this thing out. Right up my alley, LS powered. Basically a Corvette that looks like a Corvair. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep, we're riding that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, you got yourself a cool ride. Thank you. You'll have to take that for a rip. Absolutely. Man. Yeah. I'll take them all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Ben. You got to go for a ride in that. I could drive that.
sucker around all day. All right, huh? Will that, will that hold Never up your truck? so much. Oh, Old Red would smoke it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you want to see more builds like this from this car, go follow Man at Dick Industries. <laughs> Alright, last time you saw us, we just barely got this welded on and we called it a day because we were tired and we all wanted to go home. So, this morning I got up, torched these things off, ground them up. Now we're going to do a little, we're trying to finish the under to this side of this. I got to cut these mounts off, they're just tack welded, I need to move them over one inch to straighten things up. Ben, he's going to be cutting pieces that fit in all of this stuff. I gotta make a pipe that runs from here to here to finish that hole up, and then we're gonna sheet this whole thing so it looks like this. So, that's what we're doing. Sorry! <laughs> hey, I got you. Good. <laughs> we're just trying to get this to fit here. It's gonna go in here somewhere like that. I gotta lose a little off the back of this still. Basically, we're trying to take up some space. We know that when a rock slides up this, we don't want it to fall in this hole. So we're trying to find something that passes it along to slide out the back. That's the reasoning. Now we're just gonna make pretty, pretty picture artwork again. Nine, nine, six, seven. Yay! That's beautiful, Hunter. Beautiful thing. All there is left to do is 400 spot welds. There. Go 401. Yeah, lots more welding going on. Ben's cutting all these pieces out. It's like patchwork getting it all to fit and then fold up and mold in. This is probably the last time you'll see them all straight and nice. As soon as we drive this thing in the rocks, they're gonna get bent and folded and twisted. They're never gonna get touched. Should be interesting once it's all done, but it should be tough. I have to get really hit with a hammer too. You start bending it up and I'll heat it and it'll go right around there. Oh, you're moving stuff. Don't we can get tough, man. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Give me that green thing right there on the ground and I'll do the final. Final. It's going to be a lot of weld. This hoist needs to be about a foot taller to comfortably weld. So I'm like hunched over trying to weld down here. I'll be like, I could, Quasimodo, I could play that here shortly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going back on this for a minute. All right, we plan on putting this truck in some pretty bad stuff. So we build a trans protector on it. I'm gonna put one more pipe up through it right here, and then we'll skin over it, and it should keep transmission safe. Voila, like a glove, he's fitting and we'll weld that in. This one's kind of a complicated piece here. It had lots of angles in it and we're, we've eliminated a couple, now we gotta pound that side up. All right, this has been another long day of welding. We got all the little stuff bent and pieced in. This thing is coming together, so. Next time you see us, we're going to be building the fuel tank, probably getting some seats, steering put in it. So until then, thanks for watching.